we'll guide you through how to record with NVIDIA GeForce Experience Shadowplay. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. This feature is super useful because it's basically a built-in screen recorder. So let's go and get started. What we need to do is go and open up the NVIDIA GeForce menu page. To do that, you press Alt and Z together, and then it'll go and pop up, as you can see. Now, what you want to do is go and click on Record and go down and click on Settings. Don't worry about the instant replay length. That is for sort of instant replay. We've got a full video on that. This is more just screen recording. For the quality, set the quality you want it to be. Ultimately, the higher the quality, the higher the file size. So I think medium is quite a good optimum. Then what you can do is go and choose the resolution. I just have whatever the game is in, so in game. And then frame rate, I like to have 60 FPS as it makes it, makes it much smoother. The bit rate you shouldn't need to change as the quality will go and change that, but you can have a custom one if you want to. You can then click on save in the top right and you want to come over to the right and click on the gear or cog icon to open up your settings. Now what you want to do is go down to keyboard shortcuts, scroll down here. And now what we can do is go and toggle the recording on and off key. So you can click here and go and press a key on it to be. Of course, don't make it make sure that it doesn't interrupt with something else. I'll go and set mine to F8 like so. So when I press that, I can start the recording and stop it. We'll then press back in the top right. Now what you want to do is come down to recordings and you want to come to videos and this is where the videos will be saved. So make sure it's somewhere you can easily find it. Now we can go and press back, come down to audio and what you need to do is go and select the correct source, which I have. Then what you can do is go and select the volume and also the volume for system sounds. Of course, you don't have to go and enable your microphone here. We can press back and press done. And what you can do is go and click on the microphone over to the right here and choose what you want it to be. You could have it off or always on, it's going to be up to you. Now we've set it up, so I am recording my audio in this case. When you're ready, we can start recording. So I set my key to be F8, so I'll go and press it. And as you can see, it says recording has started. And once you've then finished, you can then go and press F8 again and it will go and be saved. I've now come to where we went and saved it and it's actually in a folder called Minecraft. And then here it is here. And so then I can go and open it up. And because I have my mic enabled, I can hear myself, but of course you may have turned yours off and that's it. 